All right, so this is kind of random, but I, I kind of need a little bit of help here, okay? I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I could just take it to a mechanic or whatever, but I'm, I'm just curious. I probably will end up doing it anyway, even if I got like an answer to what it was, but as it's something I probably can't fix here anyway. So as you guys know, I've had the same car, uh, just like my first car is my only car so far. I got my first car a couple years ago. I think I got it like a year or a year and a half later as I was working at this factory job that I had before. I haven't gotten any car. This is my only car and it's a 2009 Scion TC. I ended up buying it for, I think, seven thousand dollars like seven or eight thousand dollars when i first got it which was kind of on the expensive end but i was afraid to buy something like really cheap at that time because i needed something that was at least reliable and i was afraid to get like a little like cheap two thousand dollar car or something like that or something even cheaper and then worry about it breaking and so i saved up all this money from working and ended up buying this car and it has been good to me all until basically last night i you know i have like little problems where like a dash light will come on or whatever but i don't have anything wrong like extremely wrong like anything wrong with the drivetrain like engine or transmission or anything like that. I've never had any major problem with it. It's always been, you know, just really reliable for me. It's always worked good. But last night, okay, it was freezing cold last night. It was like uh, 15 degrees or something like that. And it was kind of like it rained a little bit beforehand, okay? So it rained during the day when it was a little bit warmer. And then as it was still damp outside and stuff, it got really cold overnight very quickly and everything started freezing. There was a shit ton of ice. I had to scrape all this ice off my car, right? Sat out there for 10 minutes trying to scrape the ice off of my windshield and like the windows on the side so I could actually see what I'm driving. And last night when I decided to go to the convenience store, a little convenience store, I was just like, eh, I kind of feel like a slushy or something, you know? A freeze, whatever you call it. It's like one of those tasty, like, blue or red flavored ice drinks or whatever. I don't expect you guys to know this, but just like for the story's sake, I started the car uh, from the passenger side in the dashboard. It slowly, as soon as I turned the car on, I heard this little noise and it slowly started getting louder and louder and louder until eventually now it's making this like a until slowly now it's making this extremely loud vibration noise which is shaking the entire carriage of the fucking car here i took a video of it when i was sitting down in there just listen to this sound That is inside when I'm in the car. That is from the inside. My engine does not sound like that. The 2009 Scion TC does not have a loud engine like that. The normal engine, nothing fucking crazy. It's a four cylinder. It's simple. No crazy amounts of horsepower. I just needed some good miles per gallon. And even then it's really not that great. That's why I got the car. So from the inside, it sounds like it's a half dying sports car. And I can feel it like throughout the entire drivetrain. I can feel it in the pedals. I can feel it in the steering wheel. It's just vibrating the entire thing. I've lifted the hood up and I thought maybe like the ice inside of it was causing causing this vibration. Maybe the reservoirs were frozen to something and then since the engine was vibrating those reservoirs, that reservoir would shake the hub, but it's not. But no, there's no ice on it now. It got warmer out and there's, I don't know what the fuck it is. It's just like, it's this loud vibration noise that has just not gone away since last night. I've driven it again today. It's not like I'm having troubles controlling it. It's just dumb loud inside and I don't know why. So anyone that can help me out with that, yeah, that would be very appreciated. Now for a lot of people that don't know, but a lot of you do, but I went to a vocational school. So in that vocational school, I took auto mechanics for four years. Year. But as you know, I didn't pay attention for shit. All I did was fuck around in that class. Again, I was a terrible student and really I was only in auto mechanics, not because I was interested in auto mechanics, but because my friends were in it and I ended up taking it for those four years. Again, I really didn't give a shit. I, I was fine with being an average person working an average job. I didn't really care about like a giant long career or whatever. Now, obviously I'm not going to encourage you guys to be bad students or like not follow a career or some shit, but that's how I was. I didn't think I'd be doing this. I didn't want to do this as a job. That's why I'm literally within two weeks of getting out of school out of graduation, I ended up working a factory job completely unrelated to auto mechanics. I looked into a couple places that like were hiring people that would do like just like little oil changes and like tires and all this other shit, but they're not like these super high paying jobs or anything like that. But I was just like, yeah, average job, you know, but I didn't get any of those. I ended up working in the factory building cages and shit. Maybe if I paid attention, it'd make more sense. Obviously something is vibrating, you know, underneath of the hood, which is causing the entire dashboard to make this noise. But I just don't know what it is. And I really don't feel like trying to find it. You know what I learned to do in auto mechanics? I learned how to change some tires. I learned how to do an oil change. I learned a couple things about an engine and how some shit inside of it works, not how to fix it. And I learned how to DDT and choke slam my friends through desks without killing them. That's what we did. We literally would just sneak into the fucking computer lab while our teacher wasn't looking, just disappear because he's always off doing his work and everybody else is out there working. We just sneak off into the computer lab and just play games on it and choke slam each other through desks and shit. We didn't give a shit. It was just, it was the funnest time of my life. I don't regret it. I regret being a bad student. I regret not paying attention, but I don't regret the multiple choke slams, DDT 
keys and tombstones. Honestly, I would do it again. That was like some of the most fun I've ever had. Also, tonight's episode of Resident Evil is pretty, that's, it's fucking intense, okay? And I think the next episode after that will be the last episode. It might be long. Uh, well, it's definitely gonna be longer. It's gonna be at least 40 minutes. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't pass an hour because I always kind of, if it takes me like, I don't know, say 55 minutes to complete the whole thing, like credits and stuff like that, if I don't cut them out, if there's like something interesting at the end, and if not, then, you know, whatever. But I always like kind of review the series at the end, you know, like what I thought of the game and everything. Hopefully that doesn't pass over an hour because I have a hard time thinking that people are actually going to watch an hour long video. I mean, there's not much of a difference between 50 minutes and one hour. Like it's, it's still virtually basically an hour. I feel like when people see one hour, it's just like, oh shit. <laughs> it kind of makes them not want to click on it. It's kind of like these videos. If they're way over 10 minutes, people don't really want to click on it. Even when they hit just 10 minutes, they don't want to really click on it. Seven minutes seems to be the perfect thing and anything under seven minutes seems too short depending on what you know is going on in the video anyway fucking weird man i tried playing infinite warfare last night to play the uh the new dlc i'm really not as bad at that game as i thought i was i was watching dirty stream last night i had actually didn't even know this dlc was coming out until last night i saw that dirty was streaming and he had like almost 200 viewers and said like uh sniping on the new maps or something and he was uh, once again typical shit where everybody's having problems with like you know being able to play the game whenever this like new update or anything comes out and he couldn't load into any games whatsoever like nothing every single time that he would get into a new map he would just end up getting this error where hold on wait i'm going off every single time he would try to join a match it would just give him this uh error that said like something about disc error it said mp or map and then the name of the map error and it would just kick him out of the game he couldn't play so he got so tilted off the face of the earth to where he ended up hosting thief who could play just fine so i decided to download it because i already had the season pass for iw i downloaded the maps and i got in just fine he just he, <laughs> he downloaded the maps and i got in just fine zero problems he was like the only person i saw that was actually having problems i didn't run into any problems everybody else that was playing in the grind squad wasn't having any problems just him and it was telling him that he had some sort of disc error when the entire game is on his hard drive it made no sense there's a bunch of technical difficulties happening right now technical and mechanical yeah i'm probably just gonna go get it looked at like just normally I, there's no way i'm gonna go and try and fix it myself i would just have to get underneath and just see even what's vibrating to begin with but i really just don't see myself putting that effort for it yeah anyway the next episode of resident evil will be out soon a couple hours i still have to render it out so it'll be a little bit but it shouldn't be that late and then the final episode will be tomorrow which oh boy oh we made it anyway yeah thank you guys so much for all the support on my videos i really appreciate it thank you guys so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed and uh yeah it's been jeb guys later <laughs>